Hello. Hello, 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 hello. You are welcome. to check in and do a review of my experience getting a DEXA scan. So I had I heard of a DEXA scan kind of really in passing. I didn't I don't know I never actually thought of getting one until I was on Instagram and I think one of my friends was talking about the accuracy of them. I do weigh myself and I have a, a scale that measures body fat. But I thought that, you know, it would be cool since I'm at a heavier weight that I plan on losing from to do a DEXA scan to see exactly where I'm at with my weight, muscle, fat, and all these great things. Especially since at the time I did this, I felt I was really stalling even though I was eating a bit better. And I had a feeling I was gaining muscle, but I just needed, you know, to just weigh myself and get the scan and see if my feelings were correct basically so so um, I did it a while ago I did it March 29th it is April 17th I believe so it's been a while and I have a goal of trying to do it in three months from when I did it so that's the goal at most six months just to kind of get a feel for how I'm, how I'm doing when it comes to keeping muscle, losing fat, and just overall weight loss in general. So I'm gonna go through my scan and I'm gonna put you know, the numbers and the pictures up so you all can see it and just also talk about the experience, talk about everything that has to do with it. So, basically I went to two places because I'm kind of weird like that. So I went to Composition ID as well as DEXA Fit. These are two separate places that do DEXA scans here in the area. Um, I like Composition ID better um, because they did email me my scan first of all because this is the age we live in so it's always nice to get an email not just the papers that I have in my hand. But then they were just nicer, they explained things more, they were just they just have better service for me personally even though I think they cost a little bit more on average whereas DEXA fit it was whew, it was really in and out I don't know it was kind of awkward I don't know if that I don't know it was really weird but they also were really good I mean and the scans were basically the same so I'm gonna be reviewing my composition ID scan just because I have it online and it's just easier to access and put in this video but um, I think any place will do the job for you that's for sure and um, I'm just going to talk through it and um, point out anything that needs to be pointed out um, on this first page it has um, a lot of information here and um, yeah <laughs> so first um, it talks about the fat percentage in my legs trunk and the mass in my legs and trunk and the total and overall lean mass so legs being below the waist or below the hips trunk above it and overall I have 34.7 percent of body fat and total mass of 199 so basically I weigh 200 pounds on the scale and then um, lean mass is 125 pounds of lean mass which I was told was pretty good and then fat in pounds is 66 um, but I guess the main thing to get from this is that I have 34% of body fat which honestly I really can't complain about I, I think that that's not terrible um, but obviously it's what I'm something I'm gonna work on and from the picture, I think it's pretty clear that a lot of fat is in my stomach, where the red is, and I have quite a bit of lean muscle on my legs, I'm seeing some in the chest, kind of, I don't know, but yeah, so I think the main thing is seeing that fat right there in the stomach and in my um, hips, 
slash thigh, but maybe more hips. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so that's all that we can talk about there. So then they have android fat and gynoid fat. And from my understanding, android fat is more or less stomach fat. Gynoid fat is more or less lower body, hip, thigh fat. And um, that, I have more stomach fat, to put it in simple terms, than um, I have hip, thigh fat, like most females. So I kind of already know that. My stomach is intense. It's, my stomach is just, it's in the way. My stomach is in the way. So that's something I was aware of. Um, and a lot of these also go into just greater detail um, with my um, numbers as far as literally calculating my right and left arm fat or right and left arm um, lean mass and um, same thing with the legs, right and left fat percentage, right and left lean mass. So some of that you can see as well. Then um, it also put them side by side so that you can see the difference. And one thing that was pointed out was that my right side is a lot heavier than my left side. Well, not a lot, but they said two pounds is definitely something that should um, alert me to try to make sure I'm working on my left side, so especially as it relates to muscle. So I'm having a little bit more muscle in general on my right side, especially my legs. Yeah, especially my, my, my legs. So that's something that I've actually already started doing. I've started doing more workouts for my left side, like left, just left leg curls, doing a bit more lunges on my left. If I'm doing lunges, doing a bit more, um, uh, just adding extra reps, anything that has to do with my legs that I can do on each leg I'm adding more reps on the left leg I tried to do some like one-legged exercises like hip thrusts or squats and yeah that, that was a bit tough but um, it was good to know that so again it's a full-on image of my body fat in red with a good amount of fat and the lean muscle, which is not bad. And then it also has like a skeletal version. I, I don't know why they do that, but okay. Um, now DEXA scans are for measuring bone mineral density and my bone mineral density apparently is really good in comparison in general. So my T score was 4.5, my Z score was 2.4. And um, although I can't say that I fully um, understand how the scores are assessed, but um, from what I was told, it's really good. And I was able to then look at it on average compared to other people my age. And it was fairly good. Um, again, it shows my... Um, Total mass, lean mass, and fat mass in my body. Total mass of basically 200 pounds. Lean mass um, of those 200 pounds, 125 of those pounds is lean muscle mass. And then of those 200 pounds, six, 66 pounds is straight up fat. So we definitely have a lot of fat to get down, which is my focus. And my other focus is to keep as much lean mass as I can. Again, lean mass for me is really important. I want to keep my lean mass. I do. By the way, I'm 5'6". That's important. And my age is there, 29. And then um, there's also another look at the Android and Gynoid comparisons. Lean mass and fat mass in each region. There's also a section about visceral adipose tissue, which is the really bad fat that um, you may hear about from doctors and people, the fat that's around organs, that's usually centered in your stomach area. 
and interestingly enough my fat mass in my um, visceral area is 0.44 pounds which from what I was told less than one pound is ideal so to be less than that I was pretty happy about and there was a discrepancy with this one versus Dexa Fit for this because in Dexa Fit I was a little bit above one pound um, however I know that in general I'm pretty healthy in general I've always kind of worked on my cardiovascular health and um, in my eating and and so I don't find it too hard to believe if my visceral fat is okay and my organs are fine given that everything that's how it's been for me I don't have cholesterol issues or any other health issues so I was happy to hear that but at the end of the day it still doesn't matter in the sense that I'm still wanting to lose stomach fat whether it's around my organs or not I'm glad that from this particular scan it's there's not a lot although I'm sure that it could go lower but it's 0.44 so all right so that's pretty much everything um, to just talk about the experience of it so um, for going to get the scan you just lie down on a table you don't have to take off your clothes you don't have to do anything but just lie down and you lie down straight for about five minutes or so until the scan has completely run its course as soon as it has run its course they print it out for you so it's super 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 easy and straightforward again it's a bit pricey so I would say you're gonna be looking at a range from a hundred to one fifty dollars unless you can find it on Groupon so that is the downside of this if you're on a budget it's really not necessary I think the scales do okay because on my scale that has um, per body fat percentage uh, measurements and I use a young young my scale um, I'm too I was 200 pounds and I was like 30.4 or maybe 31 percent body fat which is not too off from being 30 uh, I think 34 percent body fat so let's say it's off by two or three percent 